All right, good morning, Brick Maniacs. Welcome to World War Brick 2023. Yeah, all right, there's the energy I'm looking forward to. We're excited to have you here this weekend. Thank you to everybody who uh, made the trip to be out here and uh, display. We're excited to have uh, an awesome collection to take a look at. Um, and obviously a lot of other fun planned for this weekend. So I've got just some notes to go on here. If you were here in 2022, this is going to sound very familiar, but, you know, we do this spiel every year, so that's kind of how it works. Um, first things first, this is indeed a working warehouse. You are standing on the Brickmania production floor, um, so watch your step, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's uh, still functioning. We still got stuff going on here in the back. There's still obviously stuff down there by the sign as well, so just keep your eyes out and keep your shoes on and all that kind of fun stuff. So where everything is, so the World War Brick store is actually moved. This is the registration station, the World War Brick store where you can pick up stuff. Uh, we've brought a bunch of stuff down from the GHQ, so it's a little bit more uh, larger than last year, basically. There's a bunch of stuff there that you can pick up, but that'll be where you do things like get your raffle tickets, um, bingo cards, scavenger hunt stuff, etc. cetera. Uh, the battle zone is back in the back there. That's uh, where you'll find the micro brick battle, the play testing, all that cool stuff. Um, and then the classroom is all the way back there, kind of where they're packing up production right now. That's where certain activities will be happening. Um, you might remember that last year we had a couple of speakers. Um, this year we've expanded that significantly, so that is all going to happen up here now at the podium. Um, so that's where, that's that whole deal. Um, the weekend pass holder bunker, because it's Friday and the public's not here yet, obviously you guys all can have access. It is through that area there. Um, I will say that is also the Brickmania design room, which is awesome. We're excited to host you guys there. But it also means that there are workstations, people's desks, et cetera. So just be respectful of that area. Be respectful of the bricks. There's also a significant drop when you walk in there. So if you kind of have your head in the clouds when you roll in, just be careful you don't you know, take a digger right off the edge of that thing, because that would not be fun for anybody. Um, Obviously, the public shows up tomorrow, so the warehouse here will open at 9 for weekend pass holders. You can come in, get the final uh, you know, situation of your mock ready to go, um, and then 10, the public shows up. Now, there's still going to be activities and stuff running while the public is here that is obviously still open to weekend pass holders. That being said, uh, you know, use the buddy system, use the neighbor system, wherever you're set up. Make sure that people are keeping an eye on things. We don't want any you know, public hands walking off with minifigures, et cetera, stuff like that, because once again, that's not fun for anybody. Um, <clears throat> the other thing, when it comes to certain activities, uh, stuff that requires that you actually sign up, we're going to do that daily, um, and then it's going to be kind of a one at a time kind of thing so that people don't just like fill their names in at a bunch of spots. Um, so you can sign up for the, those activities starting with like 10 up here, something like that. Look at your schedule, uh, that'll, be, that'll be where we can sign up for various things, but like I said, we'll do that on a daily basis, so if you want to play stuff or do various things all weekend, speed build, parts drafts, all that stuff, uh, just make sure you're there in the morning to sign up and get that done. If you're going to sign up for an activity, you light up here, and the light will go that way, and you'll, when your turn is up, you get to go sign up for one, one thing at a time. So you sign up for the thing you want to do most, and you go to the back of the line, let everybody else have a chance to sign up. So the first person here doesn't get to sign up for everything. Um, it's for trying to be fair, that's how we've always done it. There you go. That's the system. If you didn't hear it, that we'll, we'll, fill, you, we'll fill you in later. Yeah. No worries. Um, just like last year, it's going to run uh, raffle tickets for activities. Um, weekend pass holders have raffle tickets included in their in their uh, uh, gift bags. You can get more at the World War Brick store. Obviously, proceeds and stuff are being donated to uh, on the Mission Project, which we're once again proud to host. Um, we'll have raffles going on up here as well, uh, both weekend pass holder raffles and public raffles. Obviously, the weekend pass holder raffles is where the real good stuff is. And then the really good stuff um, is at the auction on Saturday night at 7. Um, so make sure you're sticking around for that because that's when the, the real gems will come out of the collection uh, and then once again donations going to the mission project. Um, we will have a carnival during the public hours in the classroom area. That's also where bingo will be hosted this year because we have speakers pretty much running all day long during the uh, uh, public hours up here. Which by the way as a side note if you are one of our speakers sometime during today when we've got some free time uh, we'll have everybody set up and just kind of like make sure they can click through their presentations and remove any uh, anxieties for tomorrow when we're actually doing the presentation. So that'll be how that whole thing works. I'll, I'll get back to you guys specifically on that. Um, 
so, kind of new and cool this year. Uh, uh, people probably remember the micro brick battle tournament from last year. Well, this year we're actually testing some new uh, modern variants of micro brick battle. So there's going to be play testing going on all weekend. You guys are literally going to be the first to get access to kind of figuring out what that whole system looks like. So that will actually be taking the place of the micro brick battle tournament. However, there is still going to be a king of the hill tournament, which again you've got to sign up for. So if that's something that interests you, um, you can go ahead and sign up for that. The micro brick battle play testing. I'm not sure if we're signing up for that. Um, I would assume we probably have some sort of system there. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. Um, oh yes, if you would like to make your way down to the GHQ, that is open during normal hours this weekend. There are signs in the hallway in case you're new here, uh, and you can find your way through this gigantic maze of a building down to the GHQ. They're open normal hours. They have an even bigger selection than what we've got at the World War Brick Store, so I encourage you to swing on down there and check it out because, hey, there's a Mad Minute sale going on. That worked out nicely, didn't it? So that's, that's cool. Um, the other thing, <laughs> you may have noticed that on the schedules, it says subject to change. Well, we've already got a change. How about that? We're starting things off here on a, on a strong note. So the presentation that you see scheduled for tonight, right now on the schedule says it's before the cookout. We're actually gonna do that after the cookout. So we'll have everybody have dinner, then we'll hang out, we'll do that little presentation. Dan will be uh, uh, leading that later this evening. Um, last year, I believe the, the cookout cost a raffle ticket. We're not doing that this year. It's just a cookout for all the weekend pass holders. Once our fine executive chef Eli has everything put together, we'll roll into the mess hall, which is that area back there, um, and that's where dinner will be served. Um, we yeah, we're opens for weekend pass people at nine. Oh yeah, so tomorrow, especially during public hours, we'll certainly need extra volunteers. So if you're bored, wandering around, don't feel like doing any activities, go ahead and find a staff member, ask them if there's anything that you want to volunteer for, bingo callers, running carnival games, etc. We'll use as many hands as we can get in whatever fashion we can get them. Um, like I said, the big auction is on Saturday night, so circle that on, on your uh, schedule because you don't want to miss that Saturday night at 7. Um, if you've got questions, ask staff. Otherwise, if you're curious to kind of follow along with things going on here, we are going to be trying to be making content um, during this entire weekend, and we will be posting that to the new World War Brick YouTube channel, um, which is awesome, and you guys should all subscribe and check it out because that would be cool, and that's where all that content is going to live anyways. So, all right, well, you guys all know Dan, so I'm going to turn things over to him to basically fill in anything I missed. Thanks, Dylan. Oh, loud. Um, okay, so uh, welcome everyone to World War Brick. If this is your first time here, um, this is going to be a big eye opener. A lot of people here, I recognize a lot of these faces from last year or even prior events. Um, you, the people that have been here before, know that this is a event run by the attendees. It's almost entirely run by volunteers. Brick Mania hosts it. We we make the skeleton. But the flesh and blood is less is literally the people here that are uh, that are coming here to make the event happen. Um, everybody should have some some raffle tickets in their in their in their in their goodie bag. Raffle tickets are good for the activities. Most of it will be like for tomorrow, like during the carnival. Um, lots of lots of prizes to win. We are having raffles, and the raffles work that you put your ticket into the into the the corresponding bag, and we pull. We have you have to be here to win basically. Um, there is another raffle that's completely separate. We have a Ghost of Kiev, one of the, I think it's the last Ghost of Kiev um, display. It's a display model, but we never actually put it on display, so it's been sitting in the design room for the last couple of months. Um, it's on display over there by the table with all the, the, the Ukrainian flag. That is a separate raffle. You actually have to purchase a raffle ticket from the store. It's a, it's a bigger ticket, and you write your name on it. You don't have to be here to win that one will contact you. That is a bigger prize. It'll come with a bunch of other goodies that people have donated. We have some, we have some Zelensky figures from Citizen Brick, uh, things like that. That we, you, If you win that prize, you will, you, will, you will receive quite a nice prize package. If you buy five of those raffle tickets, it's a $5 ticket. You buy five of those tickets, you get a badge brick, um, a special badge brick for supporting the, the benefit. So far, we've raised about $300,000, a little over that for, for Ukraine. So this has all been people voluntarily supporting it. So that'll continue. We're supposed to have a release this today um, that was canceled, um, but we will actually be uh, auctioning off the prototype model of that release tomorrow. So you don't want to miss that. That's a one of one, it's a one of one kit and a one of one figure. We have the, 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 the prototype model. Well, that's out on the table. It's the F-16 out there. Just, just let everybody know. Um, but that's tomorrow night. I will be doing a presentation tonight um, now, just a couple of notes about Brick Mania in the building. This is Friday. We work, generally work five days a week here, seven days a week at the store. 
There are people working throughout the building. This is still a, a, a production facility. So through that door is the weekend pass bunker. It's basically our design room, but you actually have to go through another room where all the printers are set up. Please don't uh, harass the people operating those printers. They are actually, they need to focus on what they're doing. Um, so if you, if you can refrain from wandering around in the other areas of the warehouse, please, please do. Um, there's some dangerous objects in here. We don't want anybody getting hurt. So just stay, to, stay on the path. If you're going to go in the weekend pass bunker, either come in from the hallway or go straight through that door. Um, if you have a figure or something you absolutely do not want to part with, I would just suggest keep it in your pocket. Don't put it out. Um, we've never really had a lot of problems with thievery among, especially among e the, the, the staff here. I mean, not the staff, the weekend pass people. <laughs> The staff people will come and grab your stuff. Watch out for them, especially. Um, but I would recommend stay with your mocks. If you can't stay with your mocks, ask your neighbor to watch your stuff, um, especially during the public. The public, you know, it's everybody's welcome. Not everybody has, like, the sense to, like, not reach over and grab something because they like it. Um, people have all sorts of strange ideas. They might think this is a big play area. So you want to watch your stuff. Um, tonight at 8 o'clock, we will put stanchions out. The stanchions will not prevent theft. So it's a, it's a suggestion. Um, it's to remind people that you're not supposed to touch the models. Um, but you, it, the best defense is actually you staying with your models, especially during the public times. Um, if you want to set up today, I think today is going to be pretty laid back. Uh, it's dedicated to setting up, celebrating you know, the exhibitors, the people that are really enjoying the hobby. So this is our day. Tomorrow, we get to actually show that off to the public and share our enthusiasm. Um, we did get some TV coverage, so there may be a, a, a bigger than normal crowd here. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I don't have anything else at the moment. But a couple more notes. Oh, we'll all right. Well, I'm going to hand it back to, to Dylan. Thanks, everyone, for coming. This is, the, this is your event. Let's make it happen. All right, so just a few things I forgot. Um, one, if you guys are interested in doing the uh, Builder's Battleground, which is one of our newer events, we're going to be signing up for that in the classroom area um, as soon as they kind of finish getting that area broken down. Um, that's kind of like the micro brick battle playtesting in the sense that it's not really anything that we've done before, so bear with us as we work through that. Um, you may have also noticed that we've got like uh, the parts draft uh, set up as well. Those kits are available at the World War Brick store. Um, if you're not familiar with what a parts draft is, uh, it's basically a thing where you get a whole bunch of parts, so you can get the kits for those over there. Um, and then obviously ask people, it'll be explained before the parts draft itself actually happens. So I believe that's everything. Uh, so yeah, let's enjoy the weekend, and uh, we're happy to have you here. Party.